Hello, welcome. Read this problem, try it out, and press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so I often get this problem or type of problem wrong because uh, I'm rushing. And I'm going to try to convince you here not to rush so that you don't make that same mistake. Now, what is the general mistake here? Well, if you're dealing with an equation with a square root, what I've found, on, especially on the regions, is that they are going to give you situations where you have what are, what are called extraneous solutions or fake solutions. So extraneous or fake solutions. And I think I spelled that right. If I didn't, let me know. And this can happen often when you're dealing with the square root or, or fractions with uh, exponents, as fractions with variables, excuse me. Um, so you should expect that, especially on the regions. I notice they do this a lot. So l let me show you what I mean. So if you have 56 minus x equals x, and you have the square root of the left-hand side, what you, what you want to do first, if you can, is square both sides, right? Set it up so you can square both sides. And what this will do, if you square a square root, they cancel out. And what you're left with is 56 minus x equals x squared. Then we get everything on one side. So I get x squared. I'm going to add this x over, right? And subtract 56. And that's going to equal 0. And then we've got a quadratic. So we've got to factor this thing. All right, well, I'm going to use plus 8. And I'm going to use minus 7 because 8 times negative 7 is minus 56. And that means that 8 could, x could be, excuse me, negative 8. Or x could be 7. And then what I often do is I'm like, oh, there it is, negative 8, 7. No, don't do that, right? Um, what you want to do is see, are, are, see if any of these solutions, excuse me, are extraneous or fake. Are they, right? We want to find that out. How do we find that out? We check ourselves. The way you do this is to check. And that will solve the question, is it extraneous? So let's try it. 56 minus the square root of uh, square root of 56 minus x has to equal x. So if we plug in 7, let's test that one first. 56 minus 7 is 49. Square root of 49 equals 7, and that's what x equals. That checks out. But then what happens if we plug in negative 8? If you plug in negative 8, you get 56 minus negative 8. And I, when I thought of that, I'm like, oh, well, that's 64, and that's, that's the square root of 64 is 8. But that does not equal x, which is negative 8, right? x has to equal negative 8. So this is extraneous. And if you think about it, often what you'll find with the square roots is that negative values are extraneous because, especially in a situation like this, where if you have x on one side, there's no way to get the square root of something and have it equal a negative number. So the answer is just 3. All right, hope that helped.